Hi there. So, today I'll be reviewing the Aquila Alabastro Nile Gut Strings for guitar. Now, the Alabastro is something in between a carbon and a nylon sound. It uses a rather innovative material made by Aquila called Nile Gut. Now, it's supposed to try to imitate the sounds of gut strings, which they also make. So, Aquila, as you might know from one of my other reviews, makes a set called the Gut and Silk 900 using silk core basses and genuine gut strings. In this set, Nile Gut, as it says on the back, is probably the first genuine synthetic gut in the world. It is the first product developed and patented by Aquila Corte de Armonique, thanks to its density, similar to that of pure gut, 1.30 grams over centimeters cubed. The Nile gut produces a better sound than nylon, and stays in tune better. Precisely gauged strings allow more accurate fret intonation and very stable tuning under moisture changes. The alabaster bases, wound with high-quality silver-plated copper, consist of a Nile gut multi-filament core that ensures a high resistance to tensile stress and a low absorption of both atmospheric humidity and sweat. Sets come in three tensions, light, normal, and superior. So, I got the normal set for this demonstration. I have tried the superior in the past, actually on my Alhambra guitar back in 2017, and that was a very aggressive set. You really had to grip to get any sound out of it, but it also had a really loud volume. Now, the normal set I find is about what you'd expect from a standard medium tension set, but the feel is going to be different. There's a couple of things I want to go over first. Uh, when you first put on the set, I don't know if you can hear it now, but... There's a bit of a squeak. And that's kind of mostly gone away, but it's, I think, because they varnished these Nile gut strings in an attempt to make them something more like their varnished gut strings, both in feel, appearance, and apparently sound. So when I first started playing the gut strings last year, initially there was a little bit of a squeak and they were oiled and when you'd play them you would feel the oil on your fingers. But it eventually kind of went away and by April when they were in their last days it was totally gone. On these though, since they're synthetic, I'm wondering if that will go away at all because it's not a natural material, so it's not going to just kind of evaporate over time. I don't really remember from 2017, it's not something I paid attention to back then, but I'll at some point come back with an update on that in the description. In any case, these strings, in appearance, have the standard silver-plated bases, and they have a white nylon treble. It's a solid white. Now that's going to be because the gut strings that they're trying to imitate are a solid yellow. So from a distance, appearance-wise, it might have a little bit of an appearance of gut. It's like a similar tone and color, but it's not like you would expect from a standard set of clear nylon. It's going to look a little bit different. Aesthetically, it's great for a guitar that might be lighter colored. Now, I chose these strings for this guitar specifically because it was kind of a lighter color with the rosewood and the spruce etc so I wanted it to be aesthetically pleasing in addition to sounding good so this guitar that I'm demoing today is an Amada classic guitar and it's made in Czechoslovakia by Cremona Manufacture it's the model number 4655 PM it's kind of an entry-level guitar that you would find overseas in Europe and I picked it up for a fairly cheap price and I thought it'd be great to do some demos with. So one thing to note too is that these strings do take a few days to rather stretch out and stabilize. I'd say maybe about 48 hours, but once they do, they do stay in tune very well. So that first couple of days is going to be a bit frustrating, you'll have to keep tuning. And that's just because the material is a bit different than you would normally expect. The bases will definitely stabilize before 
these Nile cut. So it will take a little more time. So if you're going to play a gig, something like that, and you know you want to change strings beforehand, do it a couple of days in advance so you don't have to end up tuning or lose pitch during your performance, as that wouldn't be good. All right, on to the sound test.
Thank you for joining me.